So my, my gut reaction to that question actually is that we need to start listening to our trainees because this next generation, they know what they're doing. They're just waiting for us to get out of their way. They, I mean, it's, it's incredible. I, um, I know a couple of people who have come out um, as trans during med school or residency who their fellow residents and their fellow med students are not the problem. It was the faculty around them um, who couldn't figure out like, oh, their name, their pronoun, what am I gonna do now? What bathroom? And their classmates are like, come sit next to me. This is neuroanatomy, we have to learn it. <laughs> um, and it, so that I think is a big part of it. Um, we also need to formalize it in curricula. Um, Again, sort of going back to the all through the curriculum, use examples that are LGBTQ. Just, just as we should be using examples that are people of color, that are how do you help someone who doesn't have a house, you know, be on their medicine regimen. We need to build these things into the system and not only as problems, but also as the showing the resilience, showing the positives that are that are out there that are a huge, huge number of people. Um, and um, and just making sure that that is formalized. One of the things that's made me a little sad was a couple of years ago, I was at the American Academy of Pediatrics conference. And we had research um, presentations, and most of them were on small curricula that either peds residents or, pe or medical students interested in pediatrics had developed about LGBTQ people. And I looked at this, and it was all the same curriculum that my classmates and I taught to our classmates when we were there. And like that was 30 years ago. It shouldn't still be an informal thing that only certain people are going to go to. So build it into the formal curriculum. It's out there. The research is out there. The information is out there. Science is not controversial. Science is just science. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And I think there's, so I transitioned uh, when I was in nurse practitioner school. And how there were so many people in my way. I was one of those people that was like, just get out of the way. That's what I want. And, and let me, you know, get some trans voices, get some LGBTQ voices in positions of power. I was in rural Virginia and there were, I think probably a lot of lesbian nurses in my nursing school, but they weren't out, right? Because of the culture and the ethos of where we were in Virginia, right? So I think number one, it starts with creating an inclusive environment within an educational setting. And that means actually showing up as allies for when shit happens, which it will, right? And um, you know, I remember taking care of a neo-Nazi after the events of Charlottesville, which is where I was in a hospital. Uh, and uh, as a newly out trans woman. And I had people that were showing up for me. I had colleagues that were showing up with me, right? That wanted to protect me. And that was a really powerful experience to be able to have allies. So I think showing up is really important, getting people in positions of power, queer folks in general, nothing about us without us, right? So not doing research on LGBTQ folks or um, you know, specifically if you're doing research on trans folks, getting trans voices there. We just know that trans people are disproportionately discriminated against in terms of the whole LGBTQ uh, alphabet, right? And so a lot of times that also means creating spaces, doing research, doing education specific to trans people, with trans people, and that's what we're doing here too at Trans Health Northampton. It doesn't mean excluding other voices, but it just means bringing people to the table. It means baking it into the system, right? So scholarships for people who have been just disproportionately marginalized. It means also being able to 
I think, you know, listen to the people that are coming, coming after you in a way and yeah. being able to lift up their voices um, and let them know that they are, they are valid, they are valuable, and that you're there to stand alongside them.